Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a Super Tarts haul. I wanna say this may be the biggest Super Tarts haul I've ever done, besides maybe my last Wax Wednesday uh, haul, but I think that's on my other channel. Pretty, yeah, well, I mean it is. Why, why am I saying, <laughs> why am I even saying I think it's on my other channel? I only have one video on this new channel, so. Um, also, thank you guys, too, for coming over and subscribing and just the support in general. I still don't know what I'm doing, but it's going to take me a little bit to get some videos up on this channel. I wish I had saved my other videos so I could upload upload some things, but whatever. It is what it is. Okay, let's get into this because I have a lot. I did go a little nutty. I saw that she was having, she had a ready-to-ship restock and she had a ton of the blends that she did. It was either for the advent or I, I don't really know. I, I don't remember because I wasn't really paying attention. But it was the ones that she did like the blends of two different scents. And I was all about that because I had kind of missed that. So um, let's go ahead and start out with the first one. This is Christmas Vacation and Jaws. And what you're going to see here is I bought a stamper which... If I had saved some of my scrapbooking supplies, I would have had plenty of stamps to do this, but I did not. So I just got a stamper off of Amazon and I'm just stamping the date that I received my clamshell. So that way I can keep a idea of like how old a clam is. So this is Christmas Vacation Jaws and I encourage everyone if you want, because I don't like to write it down. I don't know why I think my handwriting is ugly. So I just if I could find a little bit of a smaller stamper, I probably would use that because it kind of, it messes up the design of the clams, which I really love. Um, so this is Christmas Vacation Jaws. This is Christmas Tree S Snowy Spearmint, which is her Christmas vacation scent. And then Jaws is Sea Salt, Ozone, Seagrass, Plum, and Pear, which if you know Jaws, you know Jaws. So I grabbed two of these. And I just really liked how this one came together. For some reason, when she blends her two things together, it always comes out so different than you think. But this one's pretty spot on. Like you can smell Christmas Vacation and Jaws. If you like Spearmint, I'm really getting that as kind of like for me anyways, as a top note. And I, I would say Christmas Vacation is probably the more dominant scent in here. I don't get too much of Jaws, but I mean, it does, it's not Christmas Vacation, you know, if, if you're aware of Christmas Vacation or had it before, but that's what I smell as like the top notes for my nose. So if you like Christmas Vacation, you might want to try that one. I don't know if she's going to like keep these in rotation or what. So Star of Bethlehem is Blackberry pep Peppermint and Snowy Night. And my friend had kind of warned me. She said, I didn't love that one. So, so those were from the ready to ship that she did. This is the one that she did like the pre-order of. So that's why the dates are different. This I'm just doing one collective haul. I don't know why the Blackberry in here. I don't know. It smells kind of weird. There, so there's Peppermint and Snowy Night. I don't know what Snowy Night is. Um, but you know, as usual, you can't really judge anything. If you like her blackberry, you might want to try this one and you might like it. As you know, things really open up when you warm them. So, you know, cold reviews are kind of hard to go off of. You, someone can just give you like their general perception. Your perception is going to be completely different. And also when you warm it, it's going to be a totally different experience, especially with brandy stuff too, because if I remember correctly, her stuff is more paraffin than, uh, soy. So Shepherd is Clementine, Fresh Balsam, Strawberry Moss, and Marshmallows. I had received this in my first order when she did the pre-order. And then I knew I needed to get some more in the ready to ship because I love the smell of this. This one smelled so good. Oh, this one just, I can kind of smell a little bit of everything in here. The n nothing is too strong in here. Now, again, this is cold, so, you know, when I warm it, it could be completely different. I just feel like everything just goes together so well. Yeah. This one is just gorgeous. I'm not even going to try to describe it because everything is blending in there so perfectly. Like, I don't smell 
overly clementine. I don't smell overly balsam. I, I can kind of smell the strawberry in there. It's just, it's a beautiful scent. If you can try to get this one, I would say grab it just to try it, to smell it for yourself and see how you like it. But I think a lot of people would like that one just as like a basic, not a basic scent, but as a, one of those that you really just have to try to see, you know, if you like it or not. The next one I have is Sister Sister Yukon. So now I've had Yukon before. Sister Sister, I don't think I've had, but I knew I needed to try this when I saw the scent notes. So it's sugar cookies, marshmallows, cotton candy, ice cream, spiced oranges, tangerine, green apples, and vanilla bean. That mixed together alone was like, yes, please. I love like fruity mixed with bakery. So I was like, yes. This one is, this one is so good. The bakery just tones down that fruity. And it's kind of, the spiced oranges to me is kind of the thing that sticks out to me with the bakery. It's not like a super fruity scent. It's more like a spicy, well, of course, with the spiced oranges, it's like a spicy scent. So I grabbed three of those. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, honestly. I went back on the site and she still had, did I pre-order this one or did I get all three from, yeah, I got all three from the ready to ship. She had, like, they these just like lasted on the site forever and ever and I just kept going back. I don't know what my problem was. I think one of them was like a blackout order. I don't even like remember it. <laughs> so nothing but trouble came from a pre-order. This is originally 007. So this is cologne, $100 bills, and golden amber. I warmed this, or it was 007 when I had it in the clam. I put it in our back bedroom and it was so good. And now it's hard to smell it in the clamshell. It's really hard to get a good take on it. I'm trying to remember how it warmed, but it was like a manly scent. It was just good. So, and I don't remember what the cologne is in here either. I know it's somewhere, like if you search in Super Tarts, like 007, I think someone knows or recognizes it because I, if I can remember, I'll put it across the screen here. I'll look. But I grabbed three of those because, you know, when you're doing the pre-orders with her now, if you know that you like a scent, just grab it in like the bigger quantities and um, just get it while you can, you know? So let me just back these up. Okay. So next we have Festival of Lights and Coconut Cream Pie. Festival of Lights and Coconut Cream Pie. I think when I went to order this, I was gonna grab two, but she was already like sold out of it. So um, Festival of Lights is, oh gosh, Rugla cookies, challah bread. Oh, wait, it says on here, sorry. I'm such a dork. <laughs> Pecan rugula cookies, challah bread, brown sugar, cinnamon, coconut cream pie. So it's just Festival of Lights mixed with coconut cream pie. Simple. I really like, well, it used to be P.F. Chang's, but I have always loved P.F. Chang's. Oh, and it's just, it's good. It's like a, it's kind of got a bready note to it for me, but it's like a sweet bread. But if you don't like bread scents, you may not automatically like love this one. I don't really smell the coconut cream pie in there to be honest. It just smells like, yeah, it just smells like the P.F. Chang scent to me. So I don't know, but again, warm it, you never know. Okay, Prancer Cotton Candy Frosting. When I got this in the, oh yeah, I, I don't think I grabbed another one of these. I think I knew, I think I thought one was probably enough. So this is, Mistletoe, red berries, pomegranate, peppermint, cotton candy, and buttercream frosting. So it's a mix of something and I can't remember what it is. Again, if I can remember, I'll put it across. It's like mistletoe and the red berries, pomegranate, and peppermint are another scent, I think. So yeah, this one's really good. It's just the Prancer scent and then it's just uh, toned down by that sweet cotton candy frosting scent. So. I knew I'd probably liked that uh, that one. You know, anything mixed with cotton candy frosting can't really go wrong. Peppermint Stress Relief is a new one for me. I have, I think I have a third one of these, but I, I had pre-ordered these so from a while ago and 
I didn't stamp these ones either. I need to see when I received them first. But this is peppermint, eucalyptus, lavender, and ozone. So she added peppermint to her stress relief, which I don't know if stress relief is just a singular oil or what, but this one I absolutely loved. It kind of almost has, it's so weird that I like this one because this is not one I would normally have picked up, but I feel like there's kind of like a menthol note in here. I'm guessing it's the eucalyptus, but I would say it's uh, medicinal. So if you don't love like medicinal scents, this one may not be for you. But I mean, I would say for most people, like you may not like this one if you don't like any of those scent notes. I don't really get lavender. Um, peppermint is in there, but again, it is like medicinal smelling. So if you don't love like medicinal smells, I wouldn't try that one. Okay, this one is Savior, and this is, I don't know why I didn't pick up more of this one. Lagoon Waters, Pineapple, Rain, White Currant, Cucumber, and Lime. I, I may have picked up more of this, I don't remember. So this one, wow. This one's hard to smell, it's, I'm getting a really fresh scent off of this one. Like really fresh, like a clean. Wow, what is in here? I can't, I'm not even picking up any of these like scents. Like I don't smell pineapple. I don't think I can smell a rain. Is that, I'm not smelling lime. Gosh, this is so different for me. Did anyone pick this up? Is it the white current? Something's really like dominating the scent. Maybe it's the lagoon waters. I don't, it doesn't smell like ocean to me. Wow, okay. Well, this one I'm gonna have to get on a warmer because that one just smells so interesting. I wish I picked up more of this, dang it. And of course I probably didn't. I probably picked up one. <laughs> I would say for sure try this one if she brings it back as a pre-order or in ready to ship. This one is really like good if you like fresh clean scents. I don't know what's going on in here, but I don't smell any of those things. I mean, the thing, thing, the only thing I can, the only thing I can think of is the lagoon waters or maybe the white currants. I haven't had a lot of like those scents. So maybe my nose just doesn't know what that is. Miracle is bergamot, honey, Christmas cookies, French baguette, and Tonka. This one sounded so interesting. So I went ahead and grabbed two so i'll just put that there this one probably scared a lot of people because of the honey and it for sure is in there let's see i'm pulling it out so i can smell the bottom now oh, this one is honey dominant but it's not strong honey it's not like a strong floral honey I can smell kind of that baguette cookie smell. I don't know if bergamot is coming through, but again, warm changes everything and you'll know, you know, when you warm it, if you like something or not. This one was kind of my wild card scent. So this is Yippie Kaye Jessica Jones. I grabbed two of those. This is iced sugar cookies, pine needles, blackberry and rain. So if you know these two scents, the first one was old die hard. And then Jessica Jones is Blackberry and Rain. I've had Die Hard before, or I'm sorry, let me try to go by the new names. I, I guess I'm just saying the old names if you don't, like, I don't know. For me, like, I'll always remember Yippie Kaye is a Die Hard. Like, I, I don't know. My brain won't, like, change it until <laughs> probably a little while. But, yeah, this one smelled so unique. When I got my first order, I went to see if it was still on the site, and it was. So this one, my friend does not like. I had asked her about it and she's like, yeah, I really didn't like that one. But so I don't like Jessica Jones. I know that that's a really popular scent. I haven't had it in a while. So, you know, maybe I would like it now, but I've always loved Die Hard. The mix is just so interesting. It's just, it's like neither one of the, the two different scents, like, it's kind of like neither of the scents are really dominating. I can smell the Jessica Jones in there, like the blackberry, but then I can also smell the sugar cookies and the pine needles. So this one is gonna be one of those ones that 
I'm gonna be very like interested to get on a warmer. Let me see if I can just, it's very cold here today. It was like 70-ish yesterday and we were supposed to have like tornadoes and whatnot. And now it's like freezing. So, um, okay, did I, okay, let's move on. I've got clamshells everywhere, you guys. This is nuts. Nativity is spiced apples, orange, cranberry jelly, pie crust, and vanilla bean. Also, too, know that Super Tarts is one of my favorite vendors. I mean, she's always been, like, my goal is, is at some point to have all of my favorite scents from her, just like in half bams or maybe like three or four clamshells and just keep using the same scents, like maybe Monday, do this scent, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, just have like a constant rotation because I always gravitate towards the same scents with her. Um, now I do go and try some new things every once in a while because there are some scents that I do really like from her. And then sometimes I revisit a scent that I didn't initially like, and then I end up liking it. So there's that. Nativity is, oh yeah, I already said what it was. Uh, did I? Spiced apples, orange, cranberry jelly, pie crust, and vanilla bean. So this one is very Christmas to me. It just, it kind of has that Yukon smell, but the Yukon is mixed with other stuff, so it's a little bit different. But I would say if you like along the lines of Yukon, you would probably like this one. This one is more Christmassy to me. Like I might save this one. This is probably like my least favorite. It's not bad, but it's not like, it doesn't excite me. So I did grab Messenger, which is peppermint, amber, musk, birch, plum, and citrus. I don't know why the bird, the birds, like you can always hear the birds, which is not a bad thing. Okay, there we go. So peppermint, amber, musk, birch, plum, and citrus. And I think I only grabbed two of those. I think when I went back for the second time or third time, I think I went in three times. I don't, I don't even know. So this one is peppermint heavy. That's like the first thing I smell right off the bat. And this is one I'm gonna have to get on a warmer because right now I smell the peppermint and then I'm getting, mm, I don't know if it's the birch or the amber. I don't smell plum right off the bat or citrus. Hmm, I don't know what, it smells like amber. But that one, I, you know, I like, if you like peppermint, I would say try that one. Okay, this one is, so I've had Rockettes before, and I believe I've had Once Upon a Time before, but it was not my favorite, but my friend had really liked it. Uh, candy, if you're watching, hey. <laughs> this is, so Rockettes is chocolate chip cookies, marshmallow, iced macchiato, and then Once Upon a Time is coconut, black cherry, orange zest, vanilla cream, which is serendipity butter, cream, almond, and cookie dough. So I don't love serendipity, and that's why I think I never gravitated toward Once Upon a Time. Black cherry has never been like a big favorite of mine. But this one, okay, this one. Ooh, okay, that Once Upon a Time mixed in with the Rockettes. Because I, I did like Rockettes initially, and then I was kind of like, eh, it's a little sweet. But mixed with the Once Upon a Time smells really nice. It gives it, like, maybe it's the almond. Mm, I don't know. Good, though. Really, really nice. All right. This is a repurchase. I've had Your Highness before, and I really liked it. I don't know why I grabbed this one, honestly. So I, this one isn't marked either with a stamp because I never got around to it. It's an older order. So it's cannabis flower, sandalwood, vanilla bean, berries, orange. But I can tell you about this one, I, what I remember most about it is it was a good earthy scent. It's earthy and berry. And I remember, so this doesn't smell like I remember it on warm. So again, that's why it's kind of a good reason to warm something if you're unsure. Because again, I'm not getting a lot off this clam, but I remember when I first got it and I first hauled it like many, many videos ago when I first ordered this scent. So I think this is a newer blend for her, maybe within the last couple years. I remember it was very earthy. So I don't know why I'm not smelling it the same way now. 
Okay, this one is a new one for me too. I never picked this one up just because I was never like loving pink sugar for a bit there, or for a while I wasn't loving pink sugar. So this is Peppermint Twist, Pink Sugar, and Vanilla Bean. These two scents, pink sugar and peppermint, are great together. If you see anyone offering this kind of scent, try it, it is so good. But I just thought like for the time, it just, I wasn't interested in ordering it at the time. And that's just what it is. It's peppermint and pink sugar, and then just kind of blend it out with that vanilla bean. So this is like one of my favorites right now. That's my jam. This is rose jelly, pink sugar, and pound cake. Now you have to love rose jam to love this scent. And I believe Brady made this scent or came up with the blend. Oh, and I love it. It's very heavy on the rose jam, the lush rose jam, if you're not familiar, it is a sweet, it's not even rose smelling to me. To me, it's more like a candied rose, if that's a thing. Oh, I love warming this at nighttime. I don't know that I smell pink sugar or pound cake in here. To me, like I always get the rose jam, but I mean, it's blended in there for sure. So that one's a great one. I really like that one. I thought I had more arrows. I know I ordered like three of these. Maybe I just don't know where it's at. So arrow is black pepper, moss, silver birch, peppermint, and rain. This is an amazing blend if you have not tried it. If you like any of these scent notes, you have to try this one. So I, yeah, I did have a third one and I think I warmed one in my last warm reviews, which is my first video on this channel. <laughs> no. But this one is just, it's got the peppermint, it's got the birch. The silver birch is so good in here. Oh, it's just, I, I don't know. I've had black pepper since before and I really like black pepper, but as far as describing it, I wouldn't even know where to start. But just the silver birch peppermint, maybe a little hint of rain. This one's one you have to try if you like those scents. Okay, so I have three Buffies. <laughs> if you don't know, I love this scent. I remember I was like, I think I was in search of Buffy for like a year. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. Uh, do I have dates on? I have dates on one. So I think she had this in the ready to ship. This one lasted such a long time too. I was like, rosemary mint and lemonade. It's just, it's classic. It's, it's just good if you like those scents. It's really basic. It's just rosemary mint and lemonade. You can't really go wrong. So if you like either of those scents, try Buffy in your next order. If it's available, I think you'll really like it. Okay, these are, so I, these are like two of like her more popular scents. And I'm always the person that's like, her most popular scents are never my favorites for whatever reason. I don't know why I've, I keep trying to try some of the ones that you know, our customer favorites, best sellers that I hear other YouTube people talk about. Uh, my friend, uh, Kim Canada, Kim, she's got a few on her list that she like that are super tarts, best sellers. And she always talks about them just like, I just can't get on board with that. But this time I was like, okay, let me try go to sleep again because I've been loving lavender. Like, why don't I like this lavender son? I don't understand. So it's lavender, sweet cream and pink sugar. For some reason, her sweet cream smell or her lavender always smelled like really funny to me. I don't know how to describe it and now I freaking like it. Like I'm smelling it. It for sure has that lavender in there. I mostly get, I mostly get that lavender on cold. Kind of a creamy lavender, like it says sweet cream. Maybe just a hint of pink sugar, but I'm gonna have to warm it. I have I have never warmed go to sleep, I don't think. Maybe once, I, I don't remember. I think pretty sure my first go to sleep I destash like as soon as I could. Can you believe that? So a mortal child is the spawn of go to sleep. <laughs> um it is go to sleep mixed with oh gosh. Oh no, I'm forgetting what vanilla cream strawberry and pound cake are no sorry happy birthday oh geez okay so it's go to sleep and happy birthday it's uh so the happy birthday is vanilla cream strawberry pound cake lavender pink sugar is the uh go to sleep why am i having trouble with this <laughs> 
And this one, I don't think I hated the first time I smelled it. It's pretty heavy on that strawberry smell. But again, you've got to warm it, so there's that. So that one's good. If you like strawberry scents, strawberry cake, and you like go to sleep, I feel like that one would be just kind of a no-brainer to get. All right, let's keep going here. This is Manger. This is, did I already talk about Manger? Oh, I, I have more over here, okay. So I did a half bam when she did the pre-orders, maybe. Uh, so this is ozone, violet, citrus peel, herbal lavender, and cedar. Sorry, you can't see it. When I was trying to figure out how to stamp, <laughs> it was like trying to just stamp through the bag without putting it on a hard surface. That's not the best idea. Okay, so this one is unique. I got it because of the violet. I love violet scents. I like ozone. I like lavender. I like cedar. So I was like, this is kind of a win-win. And I can't really tell you what I'm smelling. It's just a lot of earthy, maybe woody. I don't know. When I come back to this one, I'll come back to it and I'll smell it again at the end and see if I can figure out what I'm smelling. But okay, I did grab a clamshell in the ready to ship, I believe. So I'll put that back there. All right, I did grab a Yippie Kaye. I haven't had this one in a long time. So this is Die Hard Ice Sugar Cookies and Pine Needles. I haven't had this one in so long. I, you know, I wasn't loving her sugar cookie for a long time, but I think it's the oil that like most people use for sugar cookies. So I've kind of just gotten used to it because I love cookie scent. So I've just been going with it. It's just a really good blend. It's not overly pine to me. It's more, it's just more sugar cookie to me. So, but again, warm it. Okay, so we're almost done. I'm gonna try to plow through the other scents here. The dog wants to go out and play. So this is Relax Claws. Uh, excuse me. Get your lovey. Get your lovey. Come say hello. This is Relax Claws. This is lavender, white nectarine, vanilla bean, sea salt, teakwood, blackberry, and balsam. So this is, oh gosh. <laughs> We've got hi. Hi, baby. I don't know what was in Claws, to be honest. Okay, the dog's going crazy. So I think she just added a scent that was... I'm trying to think, was Relax its own scent? I feel like it wasn't. I don't remember what was in Claws. Wait, was this? Uh, I don't I don't know. You guys, I've been out of this for too long, to be honest. I'm like such a mess. <laughs> so this one, oh, whoops, we just lost them. My cubes just like literally broke. <laughs> um. Hmm, this one's kind of hard to smell. Let's see, let me put it back in the clam because it feels like I could smell it better in there. So I'm not really plowing through these last ones very quickly, am I? This one just smells good. It's like, it's soothing. Come here. Again, I'm not smelling any of these notes like super dominating. So that's another one, you know, gonna have to warm. This one I've had before, Storm, is Ocean Rain and Peppermint. This one's always been a, well, I don't know that it's always been a favorite, but I've since I've come to love Peppermint, can you believe there was a time that I did not like Peppermint at all? This one is, I really like her Ocean Rain in here. And then that Peppermint just gives it, I'm trying to show you the clam, like there's a design on there, but there is not. Um, the Ocean Rain and the Peppermint just go so good together, and her rain is like a sweeter rain, I feel like. So that one is good. Melodramatic. I've never had this one before. And I don't remember when she released this one or uh, I just, I, I, don't, I don't follow like any of the wax groups like super close anymore. So I just don't know when stuff's um, getting released. But this is Mac Apple, Spun Sugar, and Mellow Fluff. I, I've been coming back around to Apple Scents again. If they're like not dominant. And this one is really nice. It's got the sponge sugar mellow fluff that kind of tones that Mac Apple down. Mac Apple to me is one of the most realistic smelling oils in my mind. 
it just always smells so authentic and real like you just cut into a fresh Macintosh apple and that's the smell that you get so that one's really nice just a light apple scent I don't I mean not light but uh, not like super strong like some apple scents can be for me um, I have another peppermint stress relief I feel like I didn't need that <laughs> but did I need any of this? That's the actual question. Okay, Rejoice, which is, let's see, plum, walnut, baklava, and sugar cookies. So I love, is it Amy, which has plum and sugar cookies, something like that. I love plum sugar cookies, that scent. And so I was like, you know, the walnut bak baklava, sorry, I think it's baklava, is not really gonna mess with that scent too much. So I just went for it and it is really good. Again, it's mostly the sugar cookie and the, a little bit of plum. It's not strong plum, so if you're afraid of plum, I wouldn't be scared of this. The baklava gives it a nice little like touch of something. A little bit of like a nuttiness, but not quite. Oh, this one is good. Thank you also to my friend Candy for kind of helping me because she was the one that was kind of like, well, you know, this one smells good. I really like this one. This one's unique. And so it really helped me like figure everything out. So Mary is pink cranberries, whipped cream, and waffle cone. A lot of people were sitting on this one and it wasn't really going anywhere off the site. I love this one. So this is one that's more of the whipped cream and waffle cone and a hint of pink cranberry. I don't even know what pink cranberries are, but it's not super cranberry dominant. It's very, um, it's just very light in there. It smells Christmassy too, somehow. I guess with just that little hint of cranberry. And I, you know, I don't know what the pink is in the cranberry, like is pink cranberries a thing? I don't know. Whipped cream and waffle cone smell excellent. And that's mostly what the scent is on cold, but I like, I love when scents are like that, when they're dominant on the like blender notes. I don't know why. We'll see how it warms. Squeeze the day is, no, wait a second. Is this, oh yeah, this used to be Gryffindor, I think. Was this Gryffindor? Lemon custard, meringue, buttercream, cheesecake, and raspberry. Now, there is a scent from the bathing garden that is very similar to this one. It's like lemon cheesecake and raspberry cream, which I do like a little bit better. I feel like it's softer and I just like it better, but this one is not bad. I wanted to retry it. It's very strong on the lemon, lemon custard, I feel like. Yeah, I would say that's probably why I didn't like love it initially. I feel like in the other uh, vendors blend, I feel like it's a little bit softer, a little bit creamier. This one is very strong. I feel like you have to like lemon curd to like this one. So there is that. I'll try anything of Brandy's like again, if I didn't like it because I've been finding that there are scents that I didn't like initially that I like now. So family, apple cider. I think family used to be family stone and then she just mixed it with apple cider. So I believe it was like glazed vanilla beans or glazed cinnamon vanilla beans. I'm trying to remember the scent description, but I mean, it's right there. She just changed it around a little bit. It's cinnamon sticks, vanilla bean, and apple cider. So, and I've always liked uh, family stone. So I, you know, I knew mixed with apple cider. I was thinking it might give it more of like an alien vibe. If you've seen the alien scent, it's uh, apple, what is it? Ugh, I'm forgetting, it's apple, it's got apple cider in it though. This one, yeah, okay, so family has always been very creamy to me, like more vanilla bean, but you can smell the cinnamon in here. I've always liked that, that scent. It's almost got a little bit of like I can smell like a red hot cinnamon sort of, probably on the 10 scale, like I would say it's like a four. Um, I feel like I could smell the apple cider in here pretty strong, but you know, to me, I, I don't know if you guys experience this, but when I smell something, 
once or twice. Like the second time usually gives me a different experience. So that one is good. I think I'll like that one. Okay, so O oh Fudge and Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. So O oh Fudge I think used to be a Christmas story and I think it was an orange Danish type scent. Oh yeah, here we go. Why do I keep forgetting that it's on there? <laughs> so this is hot orange Danish flaky pie crust, sweet cream, cinnamon, blackberries, and butter cookies. So she just took a Christmas story, or I'm sorry, O oh Fudge, and then mixed it with blackberry jam butter cookies. I never loved the O oh Fudge scent on its own. I don't know why. But mixed with blackberry jam butter cookies, I feel like people use that scent. Well, when Vendor Wax first started out, there was always blackberry jam butter cookies and everything. I feel like. But you get the orange in here. You get that orange Danish scent. Mixed with the blackberry jam butter cookies. It's nice. I think it will be good on warm. All right, my stack is like <laughs> growing here. So let's try to, okay. I have like a wall of super tarts. It's crazy. All right, Handmade has been a new favorite. I warm this maybe sometime last year or maybe the year before. This is Baby Wash, Orange Slices, and Lavender Milk. I love this scent. Also, if you have not seen this, um, is it on Hulu? Yeah, I think it's on Hulu. Uh, Handmaid's Tale, you need to watch that. That has been like the best show that I've come across in a bit. I always like, I don't know, last, especially last season, I was like bawling my eyes out. Okay, anyways, um, this one, I don't even know how to describe this one. This one just smells like a baby. I, I don't, it's like if you were to pick up a baby that's just had their diaper change and they've got like some baby powder on them, like the Johnson & Johnson's like white uh, baby powder. I mean, that's really what it smells like. I don't know that the orange, I've, I mean, I've worn this before. I don't know that the orange really comes out super strong. It just mixes in there so well. So I don't know if the, the baby wash is supposed to be like the purple one or, I mean, it could be. Maybe that's why it smells like a baby to me, but that one is good. I love handmade. All right, Bewitched, I've actually warmed uh, more recently. This is, come here, come here. This is Rosemary Mint. Uh, pear, jasmine, chiffon musk, and vanilla orchid. I think this is rosemary mint and pink chiffon, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, this is pink chiffon. Okay. I don't love pink chiffon, but I really like to be witched. The way the two scents like mingled together, it was just really pretty. The rosemary mint was nice mixed with that pink chiffon. It's really a girly scent, so... If you like rosemary mint or pink chiffon, I would say definitely try this one. It's not, you know, it's not too complicated, but it's pretty. Glen and Mags I've had before too. This is peach, cherry blossom, white jasmine, basil, and baby powder. I'm trying to remember what that first scent is. I feel like it's something and I don't know. I'm trying to think. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, are you gonna make a lot of noise? Do you irritate everybody? <laughs> He really wants to go outside and play, and that's like his, he's very much an outside dog. I don't know if anyone else has a dog that prefers to be outside, but he would spend all of his days outside, which was completely different from Bandit because Bandit always wanted to be inside with everyone. I feel like he's more of like, let me go outside. Um, I feel like Bandit was always at the door wanting to come in where Champski, we always have to like get him, like beg him to come inside. So this one is, so this one is very floral. I would say the baby powder, like I think baby powder would probably scare a lot of people away, but I don't feel like that's very strong in here. I feel like it's more of a floral. It's been a while since I've worn this one, so I can't say 100% for sure. Come here, come here, I'm almost done. Come here. I'm not gonna do my samples. Um, well, I'll try to do like a few of these because some of these are really good. Um, the keys is key lime, marshmallow, pie crust, and sugar cookie. Uh, co 
key lime marshmallow pie crust and sugar cookie and i remember quite a few people in the group had said that this one was a must try i i mean it's good uh i you know obviously i need to warm it it's it's key lime it's key lime and then it's mellowed out with a marshmallow pie crust sugar cookie and I can't say what I'm getting the most. I almost want to say it's the marshmallow and the pie crust. They're all kind of mingling together perfectly. So yeah, this one's not bad. I don't know that I would get more of it, but I have to warm it, so we'll see. Okay, samples, super fast. This smells freaking amazing. This is one of my samples. I think I tried to grab the, I tried to grab the Palo Santo sampler, but I was taking too long, so it got knocked out of my cart, which is fine. Palo Santo, pink sugar, birch, and vetiver. This smells so amazing. Oh, this is like all of my scents, like perfectly. It's kind of masculine and then feminine with that little bit of pink sugar. I would get this scent for sure if it comes back. Mango Mama's Family is just mango mixed with Mama's Family, which I believe is lemon curd gain laundry and is it blackberry jam or something like that i can't remember it's a laundry scent with that gain laundry yeah i don't know if i love this i have a clam of this and i have not warmed it yet so we'll see all right this one's also really good too this is palo santo blue sugar and campfire and this is opposite that other palo santo scent because it has that blue sugar scent very prominent in it are you gonna do this huh and this one is like a smoky smell with that campfire but the first time i smelled this i got the blue sugar very strong and then you get the palo santo so that one's good if you like blue sugar or campfire palo santo you would love that one uh Tyrion is kumquats rice krispie treats and some other blender scent that i can't remember right now i liked this one it was almost kind of like a orange creamsicle type scent i think the rice krispie treats and whatever else is mingled in there gives it a really like soft, creamy scent. So don't be scared of this one with the kumquats, come here. So yeah, this one is def, this one is more of a orange cream scent. Cre this one is more of a creamy orange type scent. Okay, and last one is Bat Signal, which I think is like iced pineapple slushy whipped cream and one other like, uh, one other mixer scent. So it's pretty basic. Oh, and this one smells, I mean, it's just like going to, what is that place that has the pineapple drinks? Oh, I'm trying to think, is it like Orange Julius? Do they have like a pineapple type drink? It's almost like a tropical smell. Pineapple goodness in this one. So I would say if you like pineapple, you would or might want to try this one to see how you like it. So I don't know why my hand is like super shaky as well, which is just perfect. Love that. Okay. So that is it. Sorry. This was like kind of a crazy haul here. I've been wanting to come in and film this for a little bit, but I feel like I'm just, I feel like we've been like busy with like summer coming around. I don't know if anyone's getting kind of that spring fever, wanting to be outside more if we have sunny days i'm like let's get out of the house and go somewhere i just i don't want to be like stuck in the house when it's really nice outside because i feel like that vitamin d just really like picks up picks up my mood or whatever so this is my tower of super tarts i went a little crazy so <laughs> um anyways i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching if you picked up any of these let me know which are your favorites I'm curious to know always curious I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye guys.